When Google announced it was working on its own Chrome operating system to take on the likes of Windows and iOS, it created headlines across the planet. With more than two years on, we are still stuck with just one Chromebook on sale in the UK. And it's fair to say that despite an attractive design and the might of Samsung behind it, Google's idea of a cloud computer has hardly set the world alight. So, Tech Raiders decided to ask the question, was it a case of too soon or too flawed for Chromebooks? And can Google show the world that its concept could be a winner in our everyday lives? The biggest problem with a Chromebook is that because it's a cloud computer, it becomes fairly pointless the moment that you're cut off from an internet connection. In fairness, most laptops lose a lot of the most crucial everyday uses when we lose connection. But there is at least the option of a bit of gaming, working on our documents, or watching movies. But actually, Google has worked hard at offline access for its applications, be it docs, games, or even image editing. Offline is always going to be its Achilles heel, but Google is beavering away and making a more solid sock to keep it out of harm's way. Next up is the ecosystem. Both Macs and Windows PCs have a legacy stretching back years. That means there is more or less the perfect program for all your needs. Chromebooks, however, do not have this library of programs, which for many is a major problem. On the other hand, Chromebooks are all about the web, and as web apps and HTML5 flourish, so will your computer. That doesn't mean we wouldn't miss the highly focused programs like Photoshop or high-end games, however, and it's some way before we see these as apps or sites. It would be easy to be negative about the Chromebook's impact, but the fact is that the entire idea simply looks a little ahead of its time rather than deeply flawed. So, the idea is sound, and the real question is, do you want to commit now and hope the potential is fulfilled, or wait to see how it pans out and then decide to invest later?